Okay, this is the computer that I bought from Staples on the 29th of uh, May. Okay, and today's date is June 2nd. We're going to see if this, this, uh, this particular computer is sabotaged as a result of the electronic capabilities and resources that are directly connected to what is known as organized stalking and gang stalking. Here's a book right here that literally talks about technology and gang stalking, how it was used against a postal employee. You can find it on the internet. And I just got done uploading a, uh, some audio concerning uh, Fred Bell talking with George Nori online about I mean, electronic so harassment. Okay, so thing. when you when you if you went to YouTube right now and listened to Fred Bell and George Nori uh, electronic harassment and warfare, you would clearly be able to see that they had the electronic capabilities to destroy computers and make them inoperable from a distance. Now this computer was bought on the 29th of May, 2013. I'm in San Diego, California. My name is Leslie Williams. And so as a result of being a target of this crime, I am making a video prediction now uh, that if they do this, they're going to try and make it appear the reason why it's inoperable is because of other reasons. Like when I plug it into a computer, they might try and say, well, it happened because of a power surge. Any place I go, restaurant it's used at, movie theater, uh, place, I, uh, mall or whatever, like a coffee shop, any library, whether it be the law library or whether it be any, uh, any university building I go to because you can get Wi-Fi connections, you can get Wi-Fi connections on their university campuses. And all they got to do is see where I'm plugged in at and send a power surge to where it's plugged in at. Okay? And it was just bought, uh, on 5-29-2013 and 6-02-2013 and I'm predicting it right now. Now this capability is a section of uh, organized stalking, gang stalking expeditions, and uh, I'm trying to find a piece of paper that I wrote down uh, the um, the time when uh, on this audio file that the hang on. Bear with me for a second. Obviously, wasn't Joan Rivers. Yeah, uh, but it looks like it's one of the same. Yeah. All right, just hold on one yeah, second. Douglas, a part about the television, right? and then Bert charged government. Herbert, you all, yeah, you know, when they, the, uh, right, and then they heard voices again. Now, that's just the early form of it. Well, I, I kind of shined that on it. All right, hold on. Then, Michael, the whole cane duration is. Sorry about right. this. Another form of because uh, they are uh, where bias is the interview. All right, now it's right here. I want you to listen to what Fred Bell says about how they had the capability because electronic harassment is directly connected to organized talking expeditions. So listen to what he says. Just listen closely. Right after he gets done talking about interviewing uh, Charles Manson, uh, he starts talking about electronic harassment. Listen to how that they can damage or destroy a computer. See, I'm using this computer to upload videos of proof, evidence, and expose the places this evidence and proof has been caught at in reference to the gang stalking. They don't want that to happen. So listen to what they can do. Long time ago, but so we'll see what happens. Uh, he got the idea with uh, Johnny Cash playing at the full Wow. Yeah, I did. So, but you, you also key in on electronic harassment. They know that my almost okay. Almost on. Either is it, it comes in many levels. Um, it's it's their surveillance. You know, it's imposed surveillance of people's belongings or surroundings. Um, Electronic, you know, listening devices, transmitting, imaging, all that kind of stuff. Micro recorders, you know, video cameras like the, the the news reporter that that was harassed through the window of her, you know of her of her motel that she finally that guy finally went to jail. Yeah. Then there's there's electronic sabotage, um, which is actually messing up somebody's computer, uh, destroying it, and 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 they're using EMI pulses more and more. And then there's what we call uh, you know, directed high high energy devices, where um, you know they actually I've, I've actually seen microwave ovens taken apart, and directing high energy beams, which causes heating because it's in the shorter. Okay, so that's enough. You basically just heard what they said. Electronic harassment is directly connected to gang stalking. Now, I just recently uploaded a bunch of videos into a blog. Okay, that this video is going to be placed in that blog. Now, I just bought this computer on May 29, 2013 at Staples, 
as I was buying it at Staples, I was literally being subject to the same exact gang stalking, organized stalking, direct conversation methods that I just caught at UCSD two days after I bought it. In fact, the day after I bought it, because the day after I bought it, I took it to UCSD Price Center to use it. And over 12 audio files, separate audio files, were showing organized stalking, gang stalking methods being utilized around me throughout the whole and time duration of while I was there on this tape recorder. Now, this tape recorder was the same tape recorder that caught the same exact harassment that was happening around me by Staples employees and management as I was buying the computer. So, do you honestly think that they want me to be able to keep this computer in reference to it operating in a normal way? No, because it's being used to upload evidence from these audio files to video files, and then the video files are uploaded to the internet. They don't want me to be able to have any computer. Why do you think they were banning me from libraries? Because I was using their computers to make blogs and upload videos concerning what they were doing and concerning uploading evidence. Now that I bought a computer, they're going to damage that to put me back in the situation where i got to run all over town to go to libraries I haven't been banned at yet until they can create incidences there and excuses there to ban me from there. See, they keep targets of this crime, i got poison ivy, isolated in it. And the only way that they can perpetrate their crimes towards me on a daily basis without the, without them having to worry about the public knowing uh, without them having to worry about the public knowing about what's going on and happening towards me on a daily basis is for them to take away the availability of the resources that I'm using that it's exposing what's happening towards me on a daily basis and that's the internet because I'm uploading the proof I get from this on the videos and then uploading those videos to the internet using computers to do it that's why they're staging incidences at libraries and on university campuses to ban me from these places based on the excuse that is inserted with the staged incident they create in order to ban me from these libraries. Now that I bought a computer, they're going to want to take that away from me by destroying it. They'll say that a power surge happened or that it's a computer, a factory defect, okay? And they'll, they'll probably wait until after the 14-day store warranty wears out. And, but I bought a $90, uh, $90 basic warranty that should cover that, but they'll probably try and come up with any kind of excuse to not give me my money back. Any kind. I literally caught the Staples employees that sold it to me and their management engaging in the same methods around me as I was buying it and on previous occasions when I went in that Staples that was caught at UCSD, yes, on, March, on May 30th, the day after I bought it, okay? And it was caught at Club Med, which is a restaurant on UCSD campus on May 16th. No, was it was on March 16th. It was either on March 16th or May 16th. And that's a restaurant that's right up the pathway from the Biomedical Library, and the Price Center is right across the street from the Biomedical Library. And I recently just uploaded a video concerning the same method being utilized against me on UCSD shuttle way back on November 6, 2012. And this same exact tactic is used around me, concerning me, along all of my routes. Businesses, restaurants, movie theaters, trolley routes, trolley stations, bus stops, bus routes, everywhere I go, including at this location. They're literally getting on the sidewalk and saying gang stalker, gang stalking, oh my god, gang stalker, as they ride their bikes by. So, we're going to see if they screw around with this computer, which almost cost me $400 by the time I purchased the warranty. And this will show you the audacity that they have, and they'll apply any excuse to it concerning why it's not operating. Any excuse. Any excuse in order to be able to say that it's any reason why it's not operating outside of the fact that organized stalking, gang stalking expeditions uh, sabotaged it. They will do, use any excuse to make it look like it was it's not operating through normal appearing reasons. Power surge. Uh, it just stopped functioning. We don't know why it's not functioning. Bullshit. It's brand new. There's no reason why it should stop functioning. I'm in San Diego, California. My name is Leslie Williams, and we're going to see how long it takes before they do it. Thank you for listening, and this is a prediction video file concerning my computer that was just bought on May, May 29, 2013 at Staples off of Villa La Jolla Plaza in La Jolla, California. I'm a target of what is known as gang stalking, which is also called organized stalking. Thank you.